Okay, today I'm going to show you how to replace relays on a microwave PCB board. These are the relays soldered in. And later on in the video, I'll tell you how I tracked down to find out uh, that this was the problem. I'll show you how to test it real fast, and then I'll show you how to take it apart. Um, if you want to know how a relay works, search on YouTube. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, what we're going to do is connect a 9-volt battery uh, just with some alligator clips here. And I'm going to use the 9-volt battery to stimulate the, uh, the relay. We're going to listen for the clicks to hear if the relay is working, and then we're going to use a multimeter to actually test for continuity. Um, just checking that the relay clicks and works isn't really enough to guarantee that you uh, have found a bad relay. So what I did was I tracked these relays down on the back side and you can see from the pattern here uh, where the relays are and basically uh, these two pins are the voltage input that would trigger the relay and close the bridge between these two pins so this is relay number 12 inputs close the pin relay number nine are these two and they close the circuit between these two points. So the first thing you can do is just listen for the clicking uh, when the relay is being being set. And I'll demonstrate that here. You can hear that. And I move down to the next two. So you can hear it. Uh, what we do to test it using a multimeter uh, set to ohms and I'm going to use mine to make a tone when I have a connection and we can see between these two there is no continuity but now here's the tricky part. Here's where you need lots of hands. Okay, holding the two probes on and... You can hear that relay switching, making the connection between the two. Now this is a nine volt battery and I think the relay uh, let me try and see. It's a 12 volt. So that should be good. The other thing to watch out, I think some of these relays are polarized. Um, here, I'll connect this. It's working. This one was flaky. It wasn't always working. But you can hear the clicking. But if I switch positive and negative, no clicking. Okay, that works. Next one. Nothing. This is the problem. Relay number seven. So relay number seven is the broken one. Let's keep going just to check.
relay number six is broken. Let's go down here. That one works. That one works. That one works. That one does not work. So six and seven seem to be the broken ones. I was able to find some replacement relays from uh, digikey.com and these going by the part number on the back PCJ 112D3M they were pretty cheap uh, I think they were $2.30 and digikey shipping was pretty reasonable here is The relay. We've got the two power input pins and the switch that gets closed when the voltage is applied to these two. Remove the relays, the bad relays, from the board and replace it with the new relays. And how we're going to do that is with some desoldering braid and we'll remove some of the solder from these pins and try and work the relay loose. Okay, and then these two. So what I'm gonna do now, I think it's just this one little bead holding on, so let me heat it and work it out there we go same thing with this there we go and there's the bad one again we'll listen okay Definitely not working. Okay. And this one is not noisy. So, all right. I make sure I put these in the discard pile. So I don't accidentally confuse them for the good ones. And so that's where it came out of. So you can see here's the electromagnet, and here's the little switch and the plunger to connect the two. In this direction. Two and two, okay, that went in, no problem. Next one. There. Okay, I'm just gonna use some blue painter's tape to hold it in place. Straight across there. Take a real close look. Let me zoom in here. Okay. Pin is through. Pin is through. Pin is through here and here. Here and here. Here and here. So we're good. Now we need to just solder it in place. I'm going to use a little bit of flux to uh, 
ensure it flows properly. It'll just make life that much easier. Okay, here's my soldering. And we're done. These two holes where the solder was removed, no big deal. Nothing on the other side. Didn't lose anything. So they're in place and we should be good to go. Okay, so the board is all repaired now. Let me show you how I tracked it down. So this is the schematics. It has some firing diagrams. And most importantly, it has some maintenance and troubleshooting. This was my issue, blank display. I checked my voltage from my power supply first. The outlet was fine. I checked the fuse next, that was fine. Then it said to check TCO, MGT TCO. That is a thermal cutoff switch, and it turns out one of my switches was bad, which I replaced. It was a very inexpensive part. Uh, that did not solve the problem. The controller transformer, um, I checked that. There's plenty of videos on that. There's also a transformer on this board right, right here. And what I did to test that was while the microwave was plugged in, I uh, checked the voltage across here to here and here to here. And that's 120 volts I would get from here to here and from here to here. And then I checked the voltage across these two pins. You can see this little line. So this one was, I think, 30 volts. Check this one, and it was about 18 volts. And I think this one was around 9 volts. Either way, it was uh, just the different lower power supplies. So I would imagine that these 9-volt power is probably what ultimately makes it over to the relays to trigger them and let uh, 120 volts flow through through here. So, check that transformer, check the main transformer, and the only thing left was relays, actually. Let's check out this other diagram, this other troubleshooting diagram. Uh, vent fan lights on and stays on? No. No fan, no lights. So that was me. Same troubleshooting things. And this says check relay 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, as well as the TCO. Um, so the relays, those were the ones on this board. And they are numbered. This one's 9, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5. I replaced all, um, or I checked all of them and ended up replacing six, seven, and eight. Those were the ones that were finicky. They weren't necessarily, sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't work. So that aligns with the ones it says to check here. Six, seven, and eight are on this checklist. 
So we'll see if this uh, if this does it.